and welcome back to my channel my name is Yvonne and this is Sticky My 17 my channel is all about cleaning information inspiration and motivation so if you're interested please like and subscribe turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video I am a brain injury survivor but the swelling is coming down so if you're interested in that playlist please have a look at my journey um, which is linked down below also as I said I upload every Wednesday and Sunday my recovery is getting a bit better I have got some interesting news um, good and bad which I will put in a future video but in today's video, I've just got some pottering around and how young is too young to have an iPhone? Uh, the cat, kittens, that was when they were nine weeks old and they're um, playing with a fish. So I thought I'd just insert that a little bit of a clip. Anyway, guys, I hope that you're all well and keeping warm with the winter coming now that we're pushing into winter. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, I am so jealous. <laughs> because obviously you're going into summer so um any products i use in my home will be linked in the description box as well as on stickymess17.co.uk and my brain's not working yeah i'm noticing that my memory's a bit buggered um anyway guys with all of that said let's jump straight into it so I'm starting out, Sally's been around on my daughter's bedroom floor, so now I'm going to use my e-cloth mop and give it the room a mop. Now, we've just laid this floor down, so there's a few sticky bits still on it. So I'm going to clean up these marks in a minute with rubbing alcohol and just my e-cloth. But they, I've been meaning to do it for weeks, but I just haven't had the time, the energy, and the know-how to get done on my hands and knees. So I'm going to show you what I'm using here. It's just rubbing alcohol. You can also use hand gel and my e-cloth, and I'm going to scrub the marks and seriously, it just goes away so quickly. I kinda simple, kinda wishful about things. And you're kinda simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk nights bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired tiles are just sticky floor planks from Amazon and um, they're very inexpensive very easy to lay um, but some of the glue has obviously come up onto the surface which is why I'm just cleaning it off but now I'm going to move on to my kitchen it is an absolute disaster I need to unpack the dishwasher sort out the dirty dishes wash the bottles and clean my kitchen cupboards uh, the counters down so that is what I'm going to crack on with now
talk to me. I absolutely love the silicone cake tin thing if you want to call it that um, because I use it in the air fryer quite a bit for things like cooking chicken and anything with sauce so it doesn't disturb my air fryer now I've got um, washing up liquid which is getting low so I'm just changing it over I'll keep the one that's low in the cupboard and fill it into this one when it gets a bit lower <laughs> if that makes sense because it's just becoming a bit of a pain to keep having to tip it up and the labels coming off so I'm going to use a new one yeah it's, my mother's always taught me to use the old stuff first but Ayo, I'm going to decant it later. And I'm rambling again. What a surprise. But yeah, I just can't be bothered fighting with washing up liquid. That's the last thing on my plate. Now I'm going to use this. It's like a sponge that I got from B&M. I haven't used it that much. It does clean really well. But as you'll see, it just starts falling apart. So I'm not impressed with it at all. Um, it's good for washing the bottles, I suppose. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> you see, it completely disintegrates. I've only used it probably about six, seven times. Um, yeah, not, not impressed at all. Sometimes you think about all the ways I'm making you smile. I know I am what you need, and boy, you're just my type. Deep down, I know you want it. You want to take a leap and jump. Now I'm just going to use Barkeeper's Friend and just a cloth to scrub up my sink. And again, I will explain later about all my Amazon favorites and about the sink. Um, because again, I've got a few things to say about it. <laughs> so do stay tuned until the end so you can see what I'm going to be on about. Right, you'll see that uh, the bottle brush is actually hanging down and I hang that there so that it doesn't drip onto my counters because it's amazing how much water those things hold. So I let it drip for a couple of hours and then I just put it away later, if I remember. I'm just like literally dropping a few drops of water on my stovetop before I put the barkeeper's friend on. I'm using my scrub daddy to scrub my stovetop, whatever you want to call it, cooker hob, um, because it's so dry that and the powder, I need a bit of moisture to make it into like a bit of a paste. And then I'm using my e-cloth kitchen cloth to wipe it down. And yeah, it does need drying, but it doesn't really matter. I'll probably just use a tea towel in on it anyway. And don't forget to clean up the backsplashes as well. And I've got a bit of dirt down the side of my cooker top. So I'm just using my knife to get the knife underneath and clean that bit up as well. So now I'm going to show you real life. This is what my kitchen floor looks like. I'm going to zoom in. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely disgusting. There is bits all over the floor. And thank goodness for Sally because I'm going to put her in the kitchen and she's going to vacuum it all up for me. And then I'm going to run the e-cloth mop over my floor because it hasn't had a good deep pressured mop but not that I've got much pressure to do, but I do want to give it a good mop with the e-cloth mop and make sure that I get it properly clean. And I'm also going to put some flash spray down on the floor this time just to give it a little bit of extra assistance because it is good to just sometimes use, I suppose, chemicals on your floor. You don't have to, but as you can see, my floors are disgusting. How could they say you made me come now I'm going to move back into my bedroom, tidy it up and pick everything off the floor, change my cat's litter, change my bed, ready for the week ahead. To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame since I met you.
before anyone gets any weird ideas of why I'm smelling the mattress, <laughs> I'm smelling it. I'm not kissing it. Uh, my daughter spilled her water bottle and I just wanted to make sure that it was just water from the night before and not, you know, the proverbial. So, yes, it was just water and it was dry as well, which is why I'm able to remake the bed. Broken, not broken, not broken. As I said earlier, I've got two little kittens now, so I'm using an old mattress protector just to put it over the duvet and the bedding so that the bedding stays nice and clean and little footprints and litter doesn't end up on my bed. <laughs> that is the reason I'm doing it. They don't really sit on the pillows too much, so I'm not bothered about the pillows, but the um, actual duvet and that, they're trying to scratch it and obviously sharpen their claws on my bed, which is also preventing... Um, my bedding getting damaged but they're only in my room for a little bit longer until they start um, socializing better with the other two cats and able to go outside so not long and yeah I'm dying of thirst now <laughs> so a quick squeeze of that um, but now it's time to change the litter <laughs> Well, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your support on my Patreon, Ko-Fi, anywhere you're supporting me, including YouTube. Just watching another video, you can support me for free and also subscribe. When I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a £50 Amazon gift voucher. As well as when I get to 2,000 subscribers, if I make it there with my hair, the way it's going at the moment, it is really curling with the... Um, coming off the steroids but when I get to 2,000 subscribers I will be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of my video to the Wales Air Ambulance and my hair to the Little Princess Trust so you'll be supporting two charities at no cost to yourselves and obviously internationally so thank you guys so much for your support and any products I use in my home will be linked in the description box down below and I am also going to be doing my Amazon favorites video soon and explain a bit more about certain things that are bought off Amazon that are in my home, whether my likes, dislikes, and how they're working out. So, guys, with all that said, thank you so much for supporting me, and I'll see you next time. See you, bye!